Hey guys, it's Jake Tutorials, and today I'll be showing you how to convert a image to text. So this is a very easy process. It's a simple 130 kilobyte executable or EXE that you just double click and it opens right up. You don't want to install anything. Um, as, well, as far as I know of, if you have problems, go into the comment box and try to fix it. But other than that, just watch this tutorial and hope that everything will go fine. Okay, to start off, you want to go into your internet browser, then or actually go into the description and find this mega upload link, which will be a image to text converter .zip. Um, So, just go to regular download unless you are a premium user. And this is free program, just click it, download it, and you're done with that part. And the second part is to Google an image. I decided to get the Firefox logo, and so I'll save it right into the desk desktop, and I will minimize this, and it should be right here. Now you should have two things, an image and the converter, which is this. All you want to do is double click on it, then this should open. You want to drag the image right here to this little area. Or you can go to File, Load Image, and then double click right there and push No or Yes, either way. But this is what it should look like. It's pretty good. You can't get much better than that, at least for. Um, it only takes two seconds max, and depending on how fast your computer is, but this is a very small program. It does all for you, and you can change a lot of things. You can change the brightness, the contrast, um, the levels, and again, you can change the brightness and contrast right here. And so, if you can tell, it just changed, and you can change a lot really and wouldn't recommend going to negative 200 but you can so just find the right one for you or right one that you think is best and you can change the size to make it so you can see it so you can, I think you can see that right here and so that is pretty good um, I don't know if you can add anything you can't add anything inside the program, but and another thing is you don't want to right click and select all, then copy. You want to file, save as, and then black and white or color. And this is going to make it so the image isn't disordered, it won't be messed up. And if I show you, I can copy this, and if I open a notepad, it's all messed up and that's because you're trying to copy it I guess out of program but if you save it if you file and save as into a black and white it'll look good and I'm going to show you the color version right now I'll save that now this should be now this um, you can open it up with your default browser and if you do black and white you can open up with notepad so I'll just show you that and you can open it and this is what it's going to look like I don't know if you can copy this and go into notepad and so I guess it'll look the same but overall the program is pretty good and I would give it a 4 hour out of 5 because some images are it just doesn't get converted as well but overall most of the ones I've tried I've tried a lot of them and I think 90% of the pictures that I've used have actually got converted into basically 100% real, um, I guess you could call it genuine text because it looks like the same thing but you can edit it and it's in text. So if you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, subscribe and before I end this video, I'd like to mention a user on YouTube who created this background for me and so if you he his link will be in the description and so I'll just go right here 
you can subscribe to him and add him as a friend. And I don't know if he does this for everyone, but I'm sure if he does, you can ask him to create you a background. I don't know if he will, but you can ask him. It's worth trying. And he's really good at Photoshop. And I think he's better than me at Sony Vegas. So go subscribe to him. And I guess that's it for this tutorial. Again, comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make some more soon.